Hi, we've been home for a while on internal control, the critical aspect of internal control. Just like any vehicle without a fuel or petroleum is not going anywhere. Any organization too without internal control, strong internal control for that matter, is not going anywhere. Having said that, I'm trusting that we are going to be able to tie everything together on internal control critical aspects today. So if you are ready, I am ready. We had looked at control environment, risk assessment, control activity, information and communication. I think we stopped around monitoring activity or thereabouts. So we are going to pick it up anyway from monitoring activity. Then we move on and tie everything together. So it may be a big a bit long a video but is going to actually expose you to everything you need to know about internal control for the purposes of advanced audit and assurance or auditing related courses and knowledge having said that when we did or talk and spoke about control activity now I need us to continue and tie it to control objectives. In fact, every other thing that we've spoke before on or we are speaking concerning today must be tied towards one thing, which is control objectives. Without control objectives, every control activity every internal control activity is in futility do you agree as to that because if a destination is unknown it doesn't worth even starting it at all that's the logic behind internal control activity so our control objectives must be ahead of us and in our mind Please don't forget it. Even in your exams, remember and look for what is the control objectives in this narration that they are giving me. Okay? Having said that, now, part of critical aspects of internal control is monitoring control. What is monitoring control? Monitoring control is an aspect of internal audit, we may, we may say, or particularly as we are dwelling on internal control. It's a part of internal control that believes that people do not do what is expected, but we do what is expected. Should I come again slowly? People often will not do what is expected, even though they know it is rightful, but they will do what is inspected. So the knowledge and awareness that people had that somebody will come or somebody has come and will still come to check on them as regards what they've done will make them to do the right thing. Not that majority of the time they want to do the right thing but they will do it because they know somebody is coming to check on them. So that is monitoring control. So as an organization or as student of auditing, know at the back of your mind that monitoring must be part of your control. And if it's lacking in any narration, in any comprehension, in any case study, Ensure you pinpoint it, and that is why we are having this discussion, so that you know it's part of critical aspect of internal control. You need to look out for, and as professional, you need to put in place. I started with control objectives, so we cannot overemphasize it. So now, what can we say? The control objective of monitoring activity or monitoring control is the control objective of monitoring control is to ensure people do the right thing. Is to ensure that people do the right thing. Take, for example, when we discuss the aspect of 
control activities and we are talking about policies procedures and we are talking about uh, other other things what's the reason for setting uh, policies procedures processes is so that we give people what is expected to be done now monitoring control is to ensure that they are doing the right thing okay so i move on from monitoring control now to control objective now transaction level control is also a critical aspect of internal control that we must talk about and when we are talking about when we are talking about transactional level controls we'll be talking about authorization we'll be talking about approval and we will be talking about verification of course we can link verification to the idea of monitoring control also so this aspect of control emphasizes that at every stage of transaction there should be somebody responsible for initiation there should be somebody responsible for authorization there should be somebody that is responsible for approval and there is somebody that is verifying that what will be approved or that has been approved is correct in line with policies procedures of the organization i hope i'm impacting knowledge here right okay and if i'm moving too fast just replay okay because i will not want the video to be too long than 15 minutes we are almost at seven minutes now okay having said that in information technology control information technology control is a critical aspect of internal control that we must put in place or look out for our students in our exams question what is information technology control of course we are in the digital age and that explains it at least a little now the information technology control talks about verification too but more importantly talk about the integrity access accessibility and availability sorry for that availability yeah of the information that we have in an organization and not only information should be controlled we must control even the aspect of assessing it that is physical control let's say for example we have a, a department a it department even those that we go into heat now must have access we call it access control so part of information control is access control that is ensuring that somebody that could touch for example the gadgets that i'm using now are people that are actually responsible for heat or have authority to actually touch and lay hold of that complaints property if they are not, then there's a breach of information technology control because once they can touch it, they can manipulate it. So that is an aspect of information control. So part of the aspect of information control is that we must control accessibility, we must control availability, we must control every other aspect that i may not even remember as i'm talking now because i'm just ditching out knowledge to you that that is the truth i'm just ditching out the information in my head and experience to you okay having said that another critical aspect of internal control is segregation of duty and we cannot overemphasize that and uh, recently there was an issue a uh, uh, multinational finance 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 institution or finance institution had a case of fraud big time fraud that relates with a uh, big management 
personnel and the, it's the the bridge actually boils down to one thing a critical segregation of duty is lacking because even though somebody is a senior manager that does not necessarily means that he should be able to start a team a transaction and finish everything and put the whole organization in jeopardy it is not done anywhere and it should not be done or be had among us and if it has happened we need to learn from this and stop it so there must be segregation of duties one person that started something must not end it is that okay then physical control IT control talks about the logical control that is those that we could not see. Now there must be physical control, which I actually let us know now that anybody coming in, even to the audit, even to the IT department, should have access. Now, even to that your office and department, somebody that enter, the staff that enter into that your department should have authority to enter and he purpose why he or she comes to see you if not that your door should be under lock and key yes it should be under lock and key so that is a control that only somebody that is responsible or needs to do one thing or the other are given access to a particular department or resources of the organization okay having said that then we'll talk about compliance with law and order and the regulation is another critical aspect of internal control that we must regulate we must ensure that an organization minimizes penalty i've audited many organizations i could see that some aspect of their of their of their business that they keep losing money is the aspect of regulation and compliance with law and order because they do not have knowledge of what law finance law process law uh, organizational compliance governance law and regulation entails they end up falling victim of government's penalty so we need to deal with it when we are discussing internal control last but not the least that ties everything together or sum it up is internal audit it's a critical aspect of internal control too because having said call oh, there should be somebody equally that is responsible for all these things that we've been talking about and we call them the internal auditors of course internal audit can be outsourced and it could be localized but nevertheless we must ensure that there are some people responsible for day-to-day -day monitoring of the objectives of control of the it control of the physical control of compliance with law and order of risk assessment of control environments these are the summary this is the summary of what i've been speaking in this speaking on on this series of critical aspects of internal control for those that are just joining us and do not know me my name is benga ola tunji fca from gjms associates we pride ourselves that we have value to life we have value to your businesses if you've enjoyed value in this series of internal control why not click the button and Share, share, share to somebody that you know we need this information. Tell a friend to tell a friend to look out for GTM Associates on YouTube, on Facebook, on, I think we are on TikTok now. <laughs> yes, and on any medium that you can find us. If you can't find G James Associate, you find Bengal Latin G. If you can't find Bengal Latin G, you find G James Associate or you find us both. Okay? comment if need be and tell a friend to tell a friend and subscribe to us so critical review now 
we started this series by talking about control environment and we said control environment is the totality of the belief systems the ideas of the organization of the management of the staff and everyone the body language of the director of the chairman the management override or not overriding everything all those aspects talk about control environment we've spoken about risk assessments we've spoken about control activity information and communication aspects of internal control we've spoken on monitoring activities beginning from this video and it equally cover, covers control objective it covers transactional level control it covers it control segregation of duty has been spoken we've discussed on physical control compliance with law and order and internal audit okay what can we really say internal audit brings to the table internal audit brings to the table monitoring of the effectiveness of internal control on daily basis in the life of an organization i don't want this video to be long you can check the series out and you can comment and speak to us on other aspects of your finance and accounting that this video may not cover 